Hello traders, the title of the video is uh, how to combine Helio Wave flat correction and the RSI like a pro and the RSI oscillator like a pro. Alright, do you use the RSI oscillator? Alright, we want to use the RSI period 14. Alright, we also know that the Helio Wave flat correction typically will be formed at the end of the fifth wave. That's the best place uh, to find uh, the, the flat uh, correction. I also talk about uh, how to avoid the gigantic Helio uh, Wave flat correction. That video, you may check it out at the Two Four Stock Trader YouTube uh, channel, how to avoid the gigantic a flat correction, a trading mistake like a pro. Uh, in that case, I was mentioning to trader when one is counting wave on a lower degree, one should always combine the lower degree wave count with the higher degree wave count. All right, so check it out, and you may understand more. I have also recorded a video today that I will be posting at Day Pro Traders YouTube channel. It has something to do with the RSR 14 and then what we are about to discuss today. So I highly recommend to trade it toward that video also. The title is RSI Oscillator Trader Reveals a Simple Swing Trading Signal. That video is will be posted at Day Pro Traders YouTube channel. So when we are counting wave, here we are, a counted wave, blah, 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 has been a painful wave count here, all right? So I don't want the video to be too long, so this is the fifth wave, that's all I want you to know, this is the fifth wave right here, subdivided into five mano wave. I talked about this talk before, Rush Stores Incorporated, Epic R O. ST Romeo Oscar Sierra Tango. This is an American store that belongs to the consumer cyclical sector apparel stores. So we see that after the fifth wave, we apply to the fifth wave the Fibonacci extension and we highlight the 138.2 percent level if you want to identify the flat correction. So here we have one, two, three. I still got my line here. And then one, two, three, bringing the price a little bit above that one, three, eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level of the fifth wave. We were expecting a flat correction, as you can see, it went a little bit above it, only to come back below it. So it's just a negation here. We can cover that price move. It just all this were placed a little bit above that one, three, eight point two percent level. In fact, at once it's one point eight percent level to sell. Now it's coming back down. We can cover that if you want to. All right, you can cover it here, right? So here it is, it's coming back down. So how do we, all right, combine the flat correction and RSI oscillator uh, like a pro? So the first thing you want to do is to check the video that I mentioned before, how to avoid that gigantic flat correction to the mistake that will also help you in this case. And also the video that I mentioned now, RSI oscillator trader, reveal a simple swing trading signal. All right, so because I don't want this video to be too long. So once you are satisfied with that, you want to look for the RSI period 14. Don't use another RSI, use period 14. You will notice that when the flag correction is underway, especially the C part of the flag correction, if it's starting, you will very often notice that the RSI period 14 will exhibit a bearish divergence. But what I do not want traders to do is that when we start talking about uh, RSI indicator or technical indicator, traders say bearish divergence equals sell by all means. Clear that, clear that, clear that. Bearish divergence that is not equal to sell by all means. So we need to be very careful because now we are talking about technical indicator, it can shock you in very fast. We want the RSI to exhibit a bearish divergence, we acknowledge it and then we just put it aside. So once we see it, we can put it down. There is a bearish divergence. Now we switch our attention to the price. We have a flat correction. Concentrate on the price. Now there is a C part of the flat correction underway. Set your target for the flat correction by applying a Fibonacci extension to the A part of the flat correction. We talked about it before. I will not talk about it. How to set the target for the flat correction. All right. <laughs> 
I will not talk about UV applied Fibonacci extension to the A part of the flag correction, the first retracement, one, two, three, we apply it to that. We'll be watching the low of the A part of the flag correction, the 138.2%, the 161.8%, and the 200% Fibonacci extension level of the A part of the flat correction. All right. But now, the point I'm making, combining the, Fib, uh, the RSI trading and the flat correction, is that once we see a double retracement, so what is happening is very simple. When you watch that video that I'm titling uh, RSI Oscillator Trader Reveal a Simple Swing Trading Signal at dayprotrader.com, you understand that? When you have the RSI exhibiting a buried divergence, all right, and the financial instrument go up one, two, three, which is the minimum price move is free. So we have a bearish divergence, RSI 14 bearish divergence, and the financial instrument exhibit one, two, three. We will draw a line there. Even if you don't know about the flag correction, you draw a line there, you say priority to bullish signal above, and priority to bearish signal below. So RSI exhibit bearish divergence, price now is going up one, two, three. Draw the line, bullish divergence, bullish prior to bullish signal above, prior to bearish signal below. Now, here you will implement a top down trading method to sell. You will not sell just because you have the minimum price move is free, just because the RSI is showing a bearish divergence. You are selling because there is a signal to sell as you are applying a different time frame a trading method. So for us that understand area way, we can't win. We are at the end of the fifth way. We are pretty much extension. We had at the one three eight point two percent level. If an expanded flag correction is underway, we look down on the RSI fourteen. If we have a bearish divergence, that's another confirmation to us that we should take part in the C part of the flag correction. Now we can set the target for the the target zone for the C part of the flag correction, and we can day trade, we can swing trade during that time. So now that this move is underway, we know that it's going to be five move down. Sometimes it can be choo -choo 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 down. It can come down like this, trade down, all right, without exhibiting one, two, three, four, five. But if it's going to form one, two, three, four, five, it will be something like this. We see that uh, orange trailer here. Trader will be expect another bounce up, so one, two. Doesn't mean that we definitely do that. I need to say 100 times to avoid a new trader, okay? <laughs> Rush and start buying and doing all sorts of things. We don't want that. It's something like that. He may not do it. He may not do that. He can do it, all right? So this is an expectation. One, two, three, four, five. Or without any further warning you will just pop it down straight away <laughs> all right don't waste of time they want to push it down they can push it down straight away or they can push it down in another fashion one two three four five down all right so use the RSI divergence when you see the flood correction but most importantly avoid that gigantic flood correction mistake Check that video because now that we're on the monthly chart, we see like this. If on a higher time frame, all right, the move down here is just a fourth wave of a higher degree, you may not see one, two, three, four, five move down. The prior will just turn around there. It's about that gigantic flag correction mistake that you want to avoid. I don't want the video to be too long, otherwise, I'll be repeating myself. And trader that are following us will get upset with me one more time. So, check that video. Check the second video about RSI oscillator trade and reveal a simple swing trading signal. And then apply what we are discussing here with your flat correction at the end of the fifth wave. Trade the price, concentrate on the price, draw your trend line, and monitor the reaction of the price on the edge of those a trend line. If the, if the price was in a channel before, project a channel in the direction of the price. Those simple things, talking about common sense uh, in your way principle trading that we discussed, okay, just use those uh, common sense as you are setting also your target for your flag correction. Use the common sense uh, technical analysis. All right? So if you have any question or suggestion, put in the comment section. And of course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific uh, question.
If you find this video totally, totally useful, uh, that will be helpful for us to let us know whether you find it useful or useless. If you find it useful, give us the thumbs up. If you think that this is another useless recording, mark it down. All right? If you think that it's an essential tutorial, feel free to share it with your friend on Google+, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. All right? This is this will conclude that this uh, discussion about uh, how to combine area wave flat correction and RSI oscillator like a pro. In all cases, use a different time frame a trading method to control the risk. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. To summarize this video, we see a flat correction, especially the B part of the flat correction during the if the RSI is a bit a very divergence and we see the V part of the flat correction we draw a line and we implement a top down trade method to sell it down. Okay? Happy to meet you all and speak to you as soon.